How the heck do you get away with lying about the job numbers for several months? And by the way, who puts this out that somebody actually leaked the truth? You know the inner workings way better than I do, Steve. Fill us in. I don't think, Dan, that this was uh, anything that was uh, an intentional deception. I think there's just some incompetence oh, at the we know that. labor <laughs> Yeah. So, I mean, here's the thing. It doesn't really matter that much whether this was intentional or not. I think the takeaway here, again, is the Biden administration has been giving us false information about go. the economy. And, you know, I, you and I have discussed this over the last two and a half years, mm -hmm. that people feel on Main Street a lot worse about the economy than people in Washington and, and uh, you know, Wall Street do. And, and they even kind of people in the media kind of thumb their nose in America and say, don't they understand how good the economy is? I mean, when you have 60% of Americans who think we're in a recession, mm -hmm. it's because feeling it in their own neighborhoods and in their own uh, in their streets and their yes. own town. And, you know, so here's the point. That's a big, big revision, Dan. I'm a statistician. I'm an economist. That's a lot of jobs. Right. Yeah. I want to make sure you understand also, this comes up. Have you noticed, Dan, you and I talk about the jobs report almost every month. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed how every month they revise the numbers downward? But they've been lowering the number by, I don't know, about a $50,000, 50,000 jobs per month for about a year. So that's about 500 to 600,000 jobs. That isn't even included in this 800,000. You oh see what I'm God. saying? Well, that's why it's I rounded to a million. Steve, because yeah, it, because it, if they're saying it, 818, okay, it's like when they say there's 7 to 10 million illegals in, we know it's more like 15. I just double. So actually, I probably should have said 1.6 million. <laughs> now, guess what jobs were revised downward? Not government jobs. Of course. Private jobs. Jobs in wholesaling. Jobs in business services. Jobs in manufacturing. Yep. Jobs in people who make things. And in fact, if you look at health care and government, remember we talked about this last month, where that's where the, all the jobs are. They, they were revised um, upward. So they were understating how many of the jobs were government related yep. and overstating how much was in the productive private sector. This is bad news for the American economy. It's bad news for Biden and Harris, who've been uh, exaggerating the strength of the economy. And I think it explains why Main Street understands what's happening with the economy more than people in Washington.